Okay, this is a demonstration of the Echo One P15. This also applies to the P9. This one is an M4 style gun with a short barrel. Comes with a mid cap magazine and a BB loader. These feed all the way to the top. And what's neat about the P15 is that it has a built in MOSFET system that's programmable for all sorts of neat features. A lot of bang for the buck. That's the whole purpose of this gun. It's under $200, but it gives you a lot of options that you might find in a more expensive gun performance wise. It's also got a quick change spring system, so you can upgrade or downgrade as you please for your fields. Starting off, we're gonna take off the stock to install the battery. This has two different ways to move the stock about. This is what you'll use to retract and uh, extend the stock. And this latch here, it's very tactile and easy to grab compared to other models, is what you'll use to remove the stock from the buffer tube. Now this is the buffer tube here and it reveals a uh, T-connector style plug, so you'll want to run a 7.4 or an 11.1 uh, lithium polymer battery or similar. You'll put the battery in the tube, tuck it in nicely, plug it in, and you'll hear it buzz a few times just to indicate that power is on. Point the gun in the safe direction so in case something happens and you'll hear the beeping. Next we're going to neatly tuck the wires in. And we don't want to crunch these wires when we install the stock or use it. So the P15 will have standard fire modes such as uh, safe, semi, full auto, your semi, and full auto. Now, when you want to get into the programming modes, pretty simple. Make sure the gun's unloaded and uh, you'll go to semi and pull the trigger and hold it. All right, so now you'll hear a series of buzzing. The first set of buzzing you'll hear, you go one, two, or three pulses, and that is to indicate the page that it's on for the programming. First page is the modes for the semi-auto position. Second page is the modes available to full auto position, and the third page is pre-cocking. That's an advanced feature. Don't mess with it if you don't know what it is, but otherwise, if you're a power user, uh, that can manipulate your pre-cocking stages. All right, so let's program the first semi mode to something different. Okay, when we hear the page that we want, we hold the trigger, it goes beep, and now we're cycling between the different options inside the first page. So semi first option, second option the first page is binary. So let's choose that. All right, it's accepted what we programmed for the semi position, so now we should have safe. Semi will be a binary. Binary is, uh, it'll pull, when you pull the trigger, it'll fire one and it will release the trigger and then another shot will come from it, so. See that, two shots per one pull. And then full auto, we didn't change anything, so it should still be the same. Okay. All right, say I wanna get rid of that, I'll just go back to page one and select the first option. First page, select. First option, select. And it's back to semi on semi-auto. Okay, now let's manipulate the, the function in the full auto. Uh, there should be burst available to you. So enter programming mode. Page one, page two, that's what we want. All right, first option is full auto. Let's see what second option. All right, so still semi on first position, full auto position. So that's a three round burst, depending on where it cycles, you might get the occasional single shot, but. Now what is pre-cocking? Pre-cocking means uh, the piston will be pre-positioned to a specific part of the cycle that you specify. That'll shorten the time between the trigger pull and the piston dropping and then firing off your shot. So by default, it's set to the one setting inside the menu, which uh, I wouldn't really mess with it, but if you know what you're doing, go for it. But uh, just be aware if you do any damage or cause anything irregularities, it's uh, that's on you. All right, so we're gonna program pre-cocking 
let's try okay first listen this is a default position which is one basically off we're gonna make it into uh, one of the five settings let's try the middle setting which will be three so i'm gonna pull the trigger wait a few seconds all right page one is semi second page is full auto functions this is pre-cocking number three all right stage one stage two stage three we'll pull the trigger on that and it's accepted so it should be a noticeable quicker cycling between semi-auto shots nothing too drastic so it's pretty safe to operate this way if we go to five it'll be pretty extreme five is the max setting uh, if you have a fresh battery or you're running a weaker spring that might have some unintended operation but let's see what happens Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, stage five pre-cocking should, so it should be kind of like a speedy boy here. Very, very quick to recycle. Now, this is an active braking MOSFET, so if you use this feature a lot and you're a heavy semi-auto spammer, the, you'll notice the grip gets a little warm. That's the motor doing its job, uh, doing the active braking and cutting off the shots and pre-positioning the, the piston where it's supposed to be. So, uh, typical function for these kind of electronics. All right, so there you go. This is the P15 series from Echo One, available at your local JAG dealers.